and today we're going to be making a really really cute coffee mug and i won't post this if it doesn't work because i've never made it before and this is my first time making it um i i i've tried making this before but like i've watched a video on making it but it was too hard honestly there was like so many steps so i'm like so i'm going to be doing an easier way hopefully it's easier for you guys i'm not sure but um just like you know, get a paper and follow with this, so, yeah, if you can, if you, and you can definitely do this if you have, um, di uh, like, pencil, or colors, um, and pencil, um, scissors, paper, and tape. You don't have to use this one, I'm just using this one because, like, why not? <laughs> so, yeah, um, the first step you're going to do, oh, wait, I need to do the back camera, sorry. I decided not to do the back camera. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to take my paper and I'm just going to fold it like this. So, you fold it once like this and try doing it as straight as you can. And then do that until it reaches the bottom. And just do the fold. And do it this way. Um, don't do it that way and that way. Um, just do it one way folding. So, yeah. I'll continue that and I'll come back to you once I'm done because it'll take a while. Okay, so I'm done with mine and if you have any excess like this, don't bother cutting it off. You don't need to do anything to it. So just unravel that. And the reason we did this just now is because um if we don't then it'll it won't be very flexible. So yeah. Um now what you want to do is you just want to try um straightening the crease out. It it doesn't have to show it can show if it wants to um but um there's really no need in doing it not, um, but there is a need to do that step that I just showed you. So yeah. um, I'll just try to straighten this out a bit. Um, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so um, I did this, and it should automatically fold just a bit like that. So yeah, um, and you want to kind of take your scissors, and you just want to take how much you want and you want to cut from there and do not throw the excess away because we will be needing that for another part of the crack which includes the bottom and the top so you're just gonna kind of fold it like that and so you're gonna take this you're going to um, put it like that and you're gonna kind of try doing that or you can just fold it and then try opening it at the top of it and then make it like that, and then take that together until you're happy with the cut shape. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so it took multiple methods on this one, this next part, um, because I told you I've never tried this. Um, so yeah, I kind of forgot what the step was. Um, <laughs> so I just t I just dug a little, I just cut a little deeper into the circle, and we cut out a circle from one of the pieces here. Um, and then basically just attach that, the, every single piece to the cup until it looks like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, take my other bit um, of my thing and I'm just going to cut it into a very, very big circle. This time it has to be a bigger piece of your leftovers, not a small one like the bottom. It has to be very big. So it should look like that. And then what you want to do is you just want to kind of make it perfectly as a square. And then you just want to make one little clip part here, and another over here, and then another over here, and then another over here. Fold those up. Tape them like that. I'll show you. Oh, that is why one of the sides keeps getting crusty. So yeah, um, what I mean by that is you're going to kind of remember yesterday when we made the puppet. Yeah, you're going to kind of do that, but with the pieces. It was all four of the pieces instead. Well, well like maybe not yesterday because I don't know when I'm going to post this because of editing. Hopefully I'll post it today. I'll work extra hard, so I'll post it today. Uh, so yeah. Just 
going to do that around in the rest. So once you do that, you should see that there should be like this little point up here, like that. Well, what you want to do is you just want to kind of like put all that up, and then you just want to take your scissors and you just want to cut that whole bump out. And you'll and you'll probably say it's really big. Yeah, it is really big. Um, and you'll probably be like, that's a huge mistake you just did. Um, actually, no, it's not a huge mistake. Because, um, I realized, instead of putting a fake straw on it, I can use it as a pencil holder. And then I can put, like, multiple pencils in that part. So, that's what I'm going to use it for it instead. And then I'm just going to attach it like that. And that's going to the tiny pencil holder. Cut. One thingy. Bajangy. So, yeah. Just going to connect now you have your coffee mug or boba um, pencil case and have a nice day.